Hey guys, exercise of, this week, of the week this week is I'm going to change it a little bit and I'm going to talk about injuries and the, the three best exercises that we do to help um, get athletes back as quickly as possible and get them playing sport again. So this week we're going to look at Oscar Slats. Now this is usually an injury found in jumping athletes, um, usually of a growing age, so females, you know, in that um, 12 to 14 range and the boys from 13 to 15, 16 years of age. Really commonly in your AFL basketball, or like I said, the jumping sports. Now, the first thing is uh, to manage this kind of stuff, ice is the number one thing. Once you've been doing any strength work or been doing your training or playing, grab some ice, put it on there, because uh, it's an inflammation um, injury and it can help straight away. Uh, the other thing that we would look at is if they've got any sunken arches. If you're sinking in the arches, the biggest problem with what we're talking with Osgood is the femur is actually rotating. If we have any sunken arches, every time you step or run or walk, we're just um, making that even worse by having that foot dropping all the time. So go and see a podiatrist, okay? Once we've done that, we can come back and fix because if you keep doing that, we can't fix what's going on. So let's talk about Oscar Slabs real quick. Like I said, what is happening is that the femur is inwardly rotating and what we get is a pulling of the quad muscles up through the patellar tendon and onto the tassel of the tibia. And that's causing an irritation inflammation in that area. <clears throat> and from this, what we want to be able to do is rotate that femur out externally, get that alignment better, and these exercises are the ones that we use to help with this kind of uh, injury. So, first one, we've seen this before, is how I teach everyone how to squat. Now, we use a band around the knees just to make sure that we're getting that external rotation from glute med, and we're just getting those glutes to uh, work as much as we possibly can during the squat. So. Hands go on shoulders, we externally rotate the hips, down slow, control, eccentrically low through your quads, tap the box, stand up as quickly as we can, squeeze the glutes, okay? Exercise number one, squats with a band. Like I said, we wanna make sure that we're getting the glutes to switch on. Number two, okay, is a release. We use this for TFL and glute med. Now, these are the two muscles that attach to our ITB. The ITB runs down the side of the leg, and it joins in through that patella. Now, if we've got these two muscles tight, pulling that patella this way, and the ITB band being tight, and we've got inward rotation, you can see where this irritation is going to start coming from. So TFL is right here on the front. If you have a money pocket in your in your shorts, that's usually where your TFL lines up. And then glute med is up higher around your belt buckle or belt pants um, on your shorts. Okay, so for these ones, TFL. Just lean on the side. Now, usually with most people, this is going to be pretty sore, so as soon as you find it, you'll know about it, okay? Hold for about 20 seconds. Now, the, with your glute, you can do it a couple of different ways. Sit on the ball, you can keep your leg straight, you can externally rotate through your hip. Once you find that spot in your glute med, exactly the same thing. Find a spot, sit on it for about 20 to 30 seconds. Now, it doesn't mean that 20 to 30 seconds is enough. You might need a little bit longer may need four to five minutes to get any change. So do 20 seconds, come back, go again. The last one is a decline squat, okay? Now you don't need a board like this. You can use a step, uh, you can use a plate, uh, anything you can find that can just give you a little bit of angle. Now what this is gonna do is give you some tendons, uh, tendon health, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down into our squat. Now here we don't wanna be parallel to the ground, okay? We wanna be at about a 45 degree angle. Now be careful, as you fatigue, knees will come in because we want to start using our adductors and not use our glutes. Pull those knees apart if you need a band on it again. Hold for your 45 seconds. Uh, the research says that this kind of exercise is going to help with that tendon health and help with that getting us back into playing sport, doing what we love as quickly as we possibly can. So if you've got Oscar Slater, so you know someone that does, comment them in the video. Make sure you let them know about these three exercises and we'll see you next time.